Hi, this is going to be our first project for our sewing school. It's a cute little tote. It can be used for kids or adults depending on the fabric you choose. It can be for books or toys. Let's don't delay. Let's get started sewing right away. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two or three sheets, all right, put them together so they're nice and neat. And we're going to use our paper cutting scissors. Remember our lesson on scissors. We do not use our fabric scissors for cutting paper. And we're going to cut the, so the right side and along the top on that solid line. All right, then I'm going to take, put those aside and do the next set. So again, I'm just gonna go up the right side and across the top. One thing that I forgot to do was to show you this box that says scale, okay? Um, I'm gonna measure the two inch scale because I work in inches and I can measure with my ruler and it's an exact match two inches. Um, it's important that you check your scale. Uh, you have to set your printer in the property section of your printer to no scale or 100% um, whatever your printer has to make it print out exactly the way that it is because if you don't, it can make it fit the page is another option, and so it will stretch the document to fit the page, and that will throw off your pattern. So your scale is really important. So now that I've cut apart my pattern pages, you can see that um, I can line up the lines, the solid line that's left here and the one that I cut, along with this little triangle piece right here, and then I put a piece of tape, I tape my patterns together. Now, um, I like to put my tape where it's gonna stay when I cut the pattern piece out. So here's the pattern piece I'm gonna be cutting out, so I put my tape there. And then I'll put another piece down here just to hold it so that it doesn't wiggle on me when I'm trying to do these others. So I'm gonna continue on with all the pieces of my pattern, just like this. Okay, you can see that I have my pattern pieces together. I have my entire first row, one A, B, C, and D, all taped together. And then this pattern just has two A and two B down here at the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my scissors and cut out the pieces to my pattern. Right, you can see I cut out my pieces. So I wanted to point out um, that this part of the tote bag was laid horizontally this way, even though you'll notice our fabric grain mark. Remember we talked about that in our last lesson goes this way. Um, the reason that that happens is um, you wanna make it so that it's on the least number of sheets that you have to tape together. So. Again, like we learned in our lesson, you always look for that fabric grain. So here's that fabric grain mark on the ties. Let me turn this down a little. Fabric grain mark on the ties and the fabric grain mark on the tote. Um, also, I want you to take notice. It tells you on the pattern my 3 8 inch seam here and a 3 8 inch seam there. So let's go ahead and um, lay out our fabric. So here I am placing it on our fabric. And remember, this was a directional fabric, so I'm making this the top of my tote bag. It says to cut two, so this fabric is on the fold. The fold is over here, my salvage edge is here, so I have two pieces, okay? Um, my fabric grain line is going this way, so it's running parallel to the salvage. Now, um, I wanted to point out something. Um, People who sew become quite the little puzzle makers and figure out the way to save the most fabric for your stash because you use your little bits and pieces of fabric for all kinds of things and the bigger the stash, the more choices you have. It's kind of an addiction. So here's my salvage. 
here's my fold. I could have put this piece over here and cut it out of this section here and had two pieces left here, but because I put it next to the salvage, when I cut this out and I open this up with the fold right here, this is gonna be a very nice big piece of fabric that I can put aside and use for something else. So let me cut this out and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, you can see that this is now cut out and there's two pieces here, so I'm gonna set that aside. I had this much waste of my fabric and I might even squirrel away this little piece right here, you never know, put it in my stash. But here is that piece that was on the fold. And so because I cut it towards the salvage edge and saved the fold, see what a nice big piece of fabric that is? So that's gonna go into my stash and be used um, at some later time. Okay, this is the straps for our tote. And you notice um, this pattern, I changed it because I had a mistake. I had cut four. What I meant to have is cut two on the fold. So here's my fabric grain line, and then I say to place it on the fold. So here's the fold of the fabric I want to use. I'm going to place it right on there. And I have cut this edge here and I know it's straight. If you're buying fabric from the fabric store, um, you may have to even that edge up um, if they didn't cut it straight. So I'm gonna pin this on and I'm gonna cut two straps on the fold. Now, if you have a rotary cutter and a ruler, you know, go ahead and use it. If you don't have a rotary cutter and a ruler, just go ahead and use your fabric scissors. Okay, I have all my pieces cut. I have my two straps on the fold and I have the body of my tote ready. Let's go sew. There are many, many ways to do a tote. Because this is our first sewing project together um, with our sewing school, I just wanna do it a really simple way. The first thing we're gonna do on our little tote is we're gonna work on the top of the tote and I want you to measure up a half an inch, and I want you to use a ruler to measure a half an inch, and then I want you to pin it all the way across and take it over and press it. So you've pressed a half an inch on the top of both of your pieces of the tote. Then I want you to turn it so that it's another half an inch measured, pin it, and go over and press it. So when you're done, you're gonna have a half inch hem pressed across the top of both pieces of your tote. And you should do your best to get them exactly a half an inch so that both of your pieces stay the same length. So here's the top of my tote. And you can see I still have a couple pins in it. This half inch hem is turned up and pressed. And now I'm gonna sew very close to that folded edge right along the side there pulling out my pins as I go along. I'll do that on both halves of the top. The top of both of the pieces of my tote should look like this when you're done. So now we're gonna start work on our handles and we're going to turn them so that we place them right sides together like this and we're gonna sew a 3 8 inch seam down the entire length of both handles. So now we have this very long tube, the width of the fabric tube, all right? So now we need to turn this right side out. I'm gonna show you one of my most fun tricks. Take a safety pin and put it on just the back piece of fabric, turn it down into the tube, like that, and then just start pushing it through. And once you get it started, you're gonna just keep working it like this, and you'll find that it pulls the end in, and you're turning it right side out. So just keep working that tube down the center all the way to the end. Okay, I've worked it through. The, the safety pin has come out the other end, and I'll just keep pulling and pulling, and it will turn right side out and we will have a perfectly turned right side out tube. Now, the next thing we need to do, I lick my fingers, because that gives you just a little bit more traction. I know it sounds kind of gross, but 
lick your fingers and then I want you to roll this just roll it like this between your fingers until you get that seam so that it's completely flat right there and I'm gonna take this over and I'm gonna press it with my iron so that I have a nice flat handle for my bag so work this seam so that it's nice and flat by rolling it between your fingers like that and then go press it okay I've pressed my tubes and they're now little straps you can see here's the side with the seam and there's the side with the fold I made sure it was turned out and pressed so now we're ready to attach them to our bag before we get started I want to trim off the salvage edge on both pieces so just trim it off like so so what we're going to do on our bag is we're going to attach a strap on the front and the back and it will come up and form the handle up here. Now even on your very first project you get to be a designer of what you want. Do you want to have a strap that's really long like that and to make your tote bag one that you could throw over your shoulder? Or would you rather make it smaller like this so that you could just carry it with your hand. You decide on how big you would like the loop here to be and I want you to um, decide and then cut off the handle where you want it to be and then take your other handle measure it out and make it exactly the same length. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I measured and cut my first handle, how long I wanted it to be, and I'm putting it alongside the second handle, lining it up exactly, and now I'm going to cut the second handle so it's exactly the same size as the front handle. Okay, so the next thing I did is I used my little measure, and this could be just a regular ruler, it doesn't have to be a fancy little thing like this, and I measured over from the edge of the handle, right there, to the edge of the bag, two inches, and I did that all the way up the bag on both sides. Now, the one trick here is make sure that you have the, um, the bottom of the handle all the way up and around so you don't have any twists up here so that the bottom stays right there so you don't have a twist in your handle so do that on both sides of your little tote okay so now I have the handles pinned onto both of my totes um, one tip on mine the seam side of the handle is facing in and so that helps me to know that I don't have a loop up here at the top I wanted to double check my work because we're eventually going to be sewing across the bottom of our tote and I wanted my handles to line up so I put them right sides together checking to make sure that my handles on my totes line up from front to back and they do. Do you remember in our lessons I talked about my 3 8 foot and my quarter inch foot. This is what I use for my quarter inch foot for my sewing machine. Yours will probably look different than mine, but I'm gonna switch out to my quarter inch foot. Sorry, and um, I'll show you why. We're going to top stitch this handle into place and I wanted to use a very small quarter inch seam. Okay, if you don't have this, you can still do it with your 3 8 inch seam, with your 3 8 inch foot, and let me show you how. So using our 3 8 inch foot, you can see that um, this would be the very edge where the needle is, right there in the center. So I'm going to split the difference between there and there, and just work it so that I can sew up in a nice straight line using that as a reference point if you don't have a quarter inch foot. Starting at the bottom of our bag, I'm going to start sewing up the foot, the uh, strap using that quarter inch as my guide all the way up to the top of my bag. All right, when I get to the top where the, um, the handle and the bag are at the edge right there. I'm going to back stitch one, two times because there's going to be a lot of pulling that happens right there at the handle and the bag. 
Then I'm going to just continue going up the handle. All right. And as I make adjustments, I make sure my needle is down. And I'm just going to keep going. And every time I make an adjustment, my needle is down. And I come back around to the other side of the bag. And then I'm going to do the same. One, two back stitches. Pull that pin out. Straighten everything up. Continue down all the way to the bottom of the bag. Okay, you can see that I've sewn all the way up the inside of the handle and all the way back around. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of the handle. And then we'll do the same on the other side of our bag. Okay, so now I have both of my handles sewn on the front and the back of the bag. Um, I wanted to tell you that when I was sewing my last handle on, I did run out of bobbin thread, so I had to change my bobbin. And always remember to pull up your bobbin thread like we learned in one of our lessons before you start sewing. Okay, so now I want you to take the right sides of your bag and put them together. I want you to line up the top right here and pin. Put a pin in the middle, a pin at the bottom, and then a pin going across the bottom down here. So I have changed back to my 3 8 inch foot. All right, we're going to start down here at the bottom. Now in our, our sewing lessons, we individually overcast the edge of each side of our seam. For this tote bag, I want it to be super strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam, back, back tacking at the beginning, all the way up to the top. So here I am almost to the top and I'm going to go up and back stitch over that entire hem that we put up there at the top a couple times because you're going to have a lot of pulling on the side of the top of your bag right there. So now that is very securely back stitched across that whole hem. Because I wanted my tote bag seams to be extra strong, I went back and I sewed right over the top of that first seam that we put in. So it's got a double seam on the side, 3 8 inch. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this seam down to about a quarter of an inch all the way down the bag. So now that I trim this seam down to a quarter inch, I'm going to overcast both of the pieces together. And my overcast is going on and off the edge. And it comes really close to that seam that I sewed, catching all those raw edges. I'm going to do that all the way up. So as you can see, I, I overcast that edge all the way up. And um, even up here at the top, I backstitched using my overcast so that it would stay in nice and secure. So now this seam at the top of my bag is extremely secure and it has a finished edge. So go ahead and do that on the other side of your bag, following all those steps, doing the double stitch, trimming it down to a quarter and overcast, and do the same at the bottom. So once I have finished sewing around um, the sides and the bottom, doing double seams and finishing the seams, turn it right side out and work it up like this so your thumb is right down in that corner right there and then put your finger right there, push it through and work out that corner so that it's nice and sharp and if you need to use a little pin to kind of get the rest of it out so that it looks nice and sharp. Um, that's what you need to do. So finish turning your bag right side out and give it a press. You finished your first project and I'm really proud of you. You've learned new skills and all you need to do now is just to keep practicing. Try this bag in different sizes, different fabrics, and just have a lot of fun with it. And so till next time, this was Cindy at Vintage to New.